Hey guys, this is Brian with Thunder Laser. So I've got a question here uh, about why these are not uh, lining up uh, when you're using the camera. And usually that is because, well, let me pull this up. Um, whenever you do your first camera calibration, it's important um, that you autofocus your material uh, before you do the camera alignment. And the reason is, is because this autofocus plane is the focal plane uh, for the camera and for the two inch stock head when you're using autofocus. So the surface of the material is going to be the same distance from the head every time and the camera every time uh, if you use autofocus. And that doesn't matter if you are autofocusing a piece of 12 millimeter material or a piece of three millimeter material or a piece of 19 millimeter material, it's gonna see the top. So our autofocus system actually works and plays very well with the Thundercam. So let's switch over to the center monitor and I'll show you kind of what can happen. Um, I'm just gonna update my overlay and I've just got a piece of quarter inch MDF in there that I found laying around and let's just draw a circle in the middle and ellipse or whatever you wanna call it. And uh, 115 power, we'll just do a line. So that should be fine. So we'll just send that over to the machine and let it do that. And let's go over to the move panel, send the laser back home. And then we'll update the overlay and let's take a look and see how accurate it is. Now, I just updated my overlay and you can turn this where it'll uh, not be faded if that helps. I'm actually gonna turn this circle uh, maybe into blue, something like that, and then unfade this so that we can really get a better idea. And if you'll look, I'm pretty much dead on. Uh, I can move this circle and it's pretty much dead on with what I have. Now, here is where it can give you problems. You'll see that's dead on. So my, my camera is uh, aligned properly. So let's drop the bed. Uh, five millimeters. So we're just going to drop the bed five millimeters and it just went down just a little bit. Now let's upgrade, update the overlay. And you'll see that it's off just a little, but let's go down another five millimeters. Update the overlay. You can see each time it's starting to get off now. And let's just go five more and five more and update the overlay and you can see how off it is. So if you don't have the surface of your material uh, at the same distance from the camera every time, it's gonna throw off your alignment. Now, instead of going through an entire alignment, and this is important, uh, you can change the shift and the actual width and height. You can stretch it uh, to get it to fit. So it looks like it's a little bit too low and a little bit to the right. Um, so what I can do is just shift my overlay until it looks like it's going to be where it needs to be. And it looks like I'm going to actually have to sh stretch it. Uh, so I'm going to stretch the height a little bit so that it looks better. And see, I dialed it in where it's a lot closer. Uh, we can change the width just a little bit. So you can affect some changes here um, so that you can have a better idea you know, of what kind of output you're going to get if it happens to be off. Now, if you hit save settings, it's going to save to these shift adjustments. You may not want to do that uh, because on the next project, uh, you may autofocus and it may be right. Um, but ultimately, that's what's going on. And let me just go 15. Let's see. Go back to the move panel. And I'm going to go back up 5, 10, 15. And then I'm going to go. Uh, and that puts us back to where we were originally. So if I put all this back to zero and update the overlay, it should... Uh, be right back where it needs to be. Update overlay. And yeah, it's pretty close. I'm just a skosh off. Um, so let's move the Z axis up five millimeters, maybe 10. It won't go any further because the bed is touched. So now let's update the overlay and see what happens when we move closer. Um, that actually doesn't look that terrible. Uh, that may be because I had it at the autofocus set. But you can see how the... Uh, Let's just move it down 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 millimeters. Update the overlay and see how far off it is. So again, you can change your width and height and your shift and stuff like that to walk this display back into what you actually have if you don't want to actually recalibrate your camera.
And when you close Lightburn, all of these will reset unless you hit save, and then it'll be a permanent thing. Um, so anyway, hope that helps. Uh, also, I would remind you, let me go back over to the left monitor uh, to have a look at, uh, and again, I'll try to put this video on this article I'm making for this video that I'm making now. Uh, but the Basics of Focus article in the Knowledge Base is a really good place uh, to kind of get a better idea of how the focus and how it plays with the camera and that kind of stuff. Anyway, hope that helps. Have a good night.